Planning to remodel your bathroom is really an interesting project. Why? Well, because you're taking the one room in a house that no one really likes to talk about and trying to find ways to make it more fun or more functional. If you follow these five tips when you're planning that project, you could save yourself some headaches. First, a serious question. How long can your bathroom be under renovation and not in use? If this is the only bathroom in your home, that might affect the order in which you should schedule certain fixes. Because your family can certainly live without a tile floor for a few weeks, but it really can't get by without a toilet for more than a few hours. If you're renovating the bathroom that's not the home's primary bathroom, then you may have even more questions. For a lesser used bathroom, is a bathtub even necessary? And if not, why waste that space? Then again, if this home hosts a lot of overnight visitors like in-laws, extended family, or kids sleepovers, will the owners regret only having a half bath? Also, consider the value that a full bathroom would add to the home versus a half bath when you're working out your budget. Choose your fixtures, cabinets, and a shower or tub before you start framing. For instance, is the medicine cabinet going to be recessed or flush mounted? This kind of detail is important for making sure the walls are properly framed and blocked. Likewise, altering the framing for tub walls can be a major setback, so plan ahead. When you're selecting your bathtub, toilet, cabinets, or vanity, one thing to keep in mind is mobility, especially if it's a room that's going to be used by people with different physical needs or abilities. For example, a 48-inch vanity could have all the storage space you'll ever need, but a 36-inch vanity might be more appropriate for a smaller bathroom while still ensuring that the space is fully functional. Also, talk with your contractor about local codes, including any minimum space requirements around the toilet and any regulations for traps and venting the drains. Because a bathroom is a moisture-rich, high-humidity space, you'll need to pay special attention to the materials you're building with. In this case, moisture-resistant drywall is preferable to conventional drywall. PVC or composite trim may be a better choice than traditional wood or MDF options since PVC and composite trim are more rot-resistant. And of course, the caulks and sealants you should use should be the ones that are specifically designed for use in the bathroom where moisture can take its toll on weaker chemistries. With these five tips, you're well on your way to having a bathroom you might actually want people to talk about. For more ideas on remodeling and repair, check out the rest of our DAP videos or visit us at DAP.com.